Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is we're on the gyro boy right now. Really cool balancing project here using the gyro sensor. And we ran into a problem of the gyro sensor not working on this particular project here. So stay with me to see how we fixed it. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, so it's pretty obvious. It's called the gyro boy. So what's going to make this whole project work is the gyro sensor. But if you're having any issues with your gyro sensor, the cable, anything that would cause this not to work, there's going to be an issue and it's not going to balance. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the problem was and see how we solved it. Okay, so if you can see where the gyro sensor is placed, facing down, and here it's facing this way is forward, and you're able to see the curves of the gyro sensor. So what was happening is, um, you know, the program was not running. So, you know, like we always do, we check all the ports, and we were getting an error message on port 2, which is the gyro sensor. So, you know, we all collectively went, oh, no, that's, you know, that sensor is what makes the whole thing run. So we had to think outside the box here, and, you know, we thought, why not just use another gyro sensor? Why can't we just bypass the other gyro sensor and then just plug this one into the port 2 where it's supposed to be? So there's a couple of factors involved here. The gyro sensor must be facing the same way the other gyro sensor is facing. We had to attach the gyro sensor as facing down the same way the other one was, as you know, as far to zero degrees as we could. Um, you know, we couldn't tilt it or angle it. So we just had to do the best we could and to test and see if this worked. So let's check and see if it worked. And let's go ahead and see if the bypass worked. There we go. Just had to give him a little bit of time to readjust himself. So this was another classic case of thinking outside the box, just being able to say, you know, we, we got an issue, we need to problem solve this. And so, yeah, maybe this student will have a career in surgery here of, you know, bypass surgery, replacement surgery here, where he just realized, you know what, we can run this program if we can just use an alternative gyro sensor here. So for those of you doing the gyro boy, this is good news for any issue that might happen with this gyro sensor. If it's a bad cable, if the sensor was put in incorrectly, um, yeah, cable issues, anything that we need to just use a different gyro sensor, it is now proven to be possible that we can just bypass the other gyro sensor, replace it with another one, and the program should still run. Okay guys, so another success in robotics where you're gonna problem solve, where you're gonna just think about your options, think about how everything works so you can come up with a solution to this problem. So it was just one of those neat, you know, breakthrough moments where we're like, wait a second, could this possibly wait, you know? And you're just experimenting and see what would work. And it's really rewarding when you have a problem and feel like there's no way out and you create a way out. So hopefully you guys, you know, if you're watching this video having an issue with your gyro boy or that gyro sensor, putting it incorrect, you know, putting it, installing it incorrectly, this is, you know, one of those possible ways where you can have that fixed, okay? So anyway, hope you're enjoying robotics, everybody. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out.